Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. I greet you once again in the most wonderful name of Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let's read from the book of Daniel, chapter 5, fifth verse. Then the king appointed for them a daily provision of king's delicacies and of the wine which he drank, and three years of training for them. Eight verse. But Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the king's delicacies, nor the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. If he observed the moment, he declared himself a firm no to the chief of the eunuchs. In the ninth verse, we see God has brought Daniel into the favor and goodwill of the chief of the eunuchs. There is tremendous power in this word no when it is spoken resolutely and courageously without falling into sweet momentary pleasures and temptations. It has often been like the giant rock by the sea as it had encountered and hurled the mighty waves of the temptation. It is the majestic power, the power to say no to everything that is not right. Whatever is wrong, we must meet with a strong, firm, uncompromising no. But oftentimes, we see millions of young people all over the world fall to this sweet loaf of temptation, not understanding it's just a momentary pleasure, but in the end, it brings misery and destruction to their own very lives. Even Joseph said no to Fortiphus' wife, and the Lord paved the way and he became the ruler of the entire Egypt next to the king. Well, the entire administration was under the control of Joseph. If you see the life of Daniel, when he was offered the best of the wine and food at the very king's table, he too forsake, forsook the wine and tempting food. I repeat, Daniel, when he was offered the best of the wine and the food at the very king's table, he too forsook the wine and tempting food. How about young generation of these days? The end result, even Daniel was elevated to the highest position in the kingdom of Babylon and no person was dared to question him. We take the life of Samson. Samson too was chosen as one of the judges of Israel. But when similar temptation came to Samson, he could not say no and fell into the sweet temptation and destroyed his very own life and the divine plan of God in his life. Let's pray. Lord, help us to overcome tempting temptations of life, to obey you at all times so that we will be at the right time and the right place to receive your divine blessings. In Jesus' marvelous name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember, Jesus loves you and cares for you.